My name is Heath Williams. I am the director of the Digital Interactive for the state of Louisiana with Louisiana Economic Development. I got to tell you, I, it is an absolute pleasure to be here tonight. I kind of walked back and forth, so don't let me buy you there. Um, to talk to you about the digital media industry in Louisiana. And uh, what I'd like to do is, is not go, go into a whole lot of detail. Usually when I talk to people, I'm 100% talking about the incentives. But what I would like to do is I would like to talk tonight a little bit about, I would like to talk about the incentive up front, just in case there's anybody in the room that's, that doesn't know a whole lot about the incentives to tell you what we do offer. But what I would also like to do is kind of tell you how it all got started, where we're at right now, and kind of what we see the future to be. How many people in this room would have ever thought that you would have heard the word digital media number one in Louisiana in the same sentence? <laughs> I'm one of those people that would have probably told you that you, you might not ever hear that. But if you're not familiar, um, this last month, business facilities actually um, ranked Louisiana number one. They said we've got the highest growth right now, uh, second highest growth, I'm sorry. But they said that we are growing at a rate of over 100% a year. I would probably tell you that's a little higher um, based on my actual numbers but I can tell you that this industry is significantly growing right now. Um, for me, I have a personal interest in it because I'm one of those guys that we always try to get and, uh, and that we talk about all the time in Louisiana. I'm one of those guys that was born in Shreveport, raised in Baton Rouge, and uh, graduated from LSU. I'm an IT guy. Got out of LSU, started looking for jobs in Louisiana because I did not want to leave Louisiana. And everywhere I went, basically I was told, hey, look, you need five to seven years experience. The only way you're gonna get this, you're gonna have to go to Houston, you're gonna have to go to Atlanta, or somewhere outside of Louisiana, and then you can come back. Well, I did leave, and I am back, but I'm proud to say that some of the things that we're doing today, hopefully your kids and my children will not have to leave the state and come back, because I think we're creating opportunities right now that they can stay in Louisiana. If you're not familiar with uh, Louisiana Economic Development. Basically, there's Louisiana Economic Development, and then there's a sub-entity called Louisiana Entertainment. I'm actually a part of Louisiana Entertainment, and what that group actually consists of is it consists of film, interactive, live, and music sound recording. So if there's any type of entertainment happening in Louisiana, we're usually the guys that are handling that for the state. Uh, and if you have any questions related to any, in any entertainment sector, please reach out to us because we're a great resource and we can help you a lot. So now I'm going to talk about the credit for a little bit. If you're not familiar with exactly what Louisiana is offering right now, what we're offering is a 35% tax credit on development work that occurs physically in Louisiana by Louisiana residents. We're also offering an additional 25% tax credit for additional items like your lease cost, hardware, software, and facilities. But what this really means, you might ask yourself, what does this mean for a, for a business? What this really means is you can cut your cost if you come to Louisiana by a third. Uh, it is extremely significant. It's extremely significant for companies that are here doing work, and it's also extremely, uh, extremely great for companies that we're trying to recruit to get here. Um, something that's also, um, really great about the program is is that there's no minimum spend and there's no maximum spend. So right now, you know, we treat the five person guy that's that's working in a cohab space the same way we're treating the five hundred type guy. So and, it, and it's great to see that happening. So what does it cover? Um, I always get this question, you know, so what what exactly does digital media mean? And what I would tell you is, is if you ask 10 different people in this room what digital media means, you're probably gonna get 15 different answers. Uh, it, it, it could mean a, a magnitude of things. But what it means for the state of Louisiana is it means software development. And it means the activities related to so around software development. And just to give you guys some examples, it, it, the traditional games, so we're talking about um, the video game company that creates a production, they put it on a CD and they ship it out and you play, you play it on your PlayStation. We're talking about healthcare IT solutions. We're talking about something that we, we heard about a little earlier, which would be cybersecurity. 
We're talking about education IT, and we're talking about the game changer of all time. We're talking about the smartphone apps. So what labor categories are affected here? Well, we're talking about project managers, quality assurance, testing, engineers, programmers, industrial designers, and my art council friends left, because I highlighted these two, because I think it's significantly important whenever you're talking about digital media in Louisiana. The composers and artists, and artist type individuals, those positions are also qualifying expenditures under digital media. So think about um, a great example in your own backyard. Think about Morris Lessmore. So think about that modeling that goes into that production. Think about the artwork that goes into it, the sound composition. Those are eligible categories that would fit within a digital media production. So you're not only talking about programmers, which for myself, I think programming is also an art, um, but you're talking about the actual you know, arts themselves also fall within it. Legal staff and also engineering staff. So let me step back for a minute and kind of talk about how did we get to this point? Where did this, this tax credit come from? Um, how long ago was it? it? It's relatively new. It's about seven years old, to give you an idea. It started in 2005. 2005, the legislature passed, a, passed the tax credit, and it was a almost 100% think video game. So the idea there was we're going to go recruit strictly 100% video game companies, and there was some success around that area. Um, I want to think around 2006, 2007-ish, that's when EA Sports actually opened up their development center in Baton Rouge, if you're not familiar. They're doing most of their North American testing right now in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, building a new facility on LSU's campus. Hopefully, I'll cross my fingers, it'll be finished in December. Uh, gorgeous building. The idea is there that you will have college students going to classes. They can walk right over and do interns, work at EA Sports great resume material. So 2005 to 2009, games were developed, but there wasn't a really, really significant increase in the activity around this area. Multiple reasons for that, but I can tell you that whenever the new, um, the new guard came in and whenever the new leadership of LED came in, there were some significant changes that happened to that legislation in 2009. And what that did is that those legislative changes opened it up to web platforms. It opened it up to more traditional software development. It opened it up to, again, the game changer mobile apps. Mobile apps are, to me, probably one of the, if not the most significant changes that have happened in this whole area, and it's probably what's going to cause it to explode beyond belief. Because if you think about it, whenever you're talking about your traditional game development project, this is a significant expenditure. You're talking about millions of dollars and distribution channels that your average person doesn't have access to. Now, 2007 rolls around, the iPhone, 2010 rolls around, and the iPad. It gives a one-person developer in his garage access to the world. It is significant. Um, and it is, it is driving a lot of change in this industry, and it's driving a lot of what's happening in Louisiana. So 2010, 2011, the program starts growing. It, it, it's growing, um, we'll say, 50, 60%, whatever it might be. 2011 rolls around, and we start seeing a lot of movement in this area. We start seeing um, game loft moving to New Orleans. We start seeing, uh, currently, a couple, probably a couple months ago, GE Capital is going to move to uh, New Orleans. Now, I, I know if you, if you live in Louisiana, you hear about EA a lot. You hear about game loft a lot. But, and you might ask yourself, how does that impact Shreveport? It's significant for Shreveport, and I'll tell you why. It's branding for our state. This is a state that has never had um, a reputation as being a digital media or a tech state. So when one of these companies goes to New Orleans or EA in Baton Rouge or in Shreveport or anywhere, th the whole state wins. Now, somebody asked me, a couple weeks ago, they said, well, what do you like most about your job? And I kind of laughed about it, but I said, you know, the, the thing that I like most about my job is I love, love seeing companies that would have never considered coming to Louisiana five years ago that are coming here right now. But even more than that, I absolutely love seeing guys that start out in a garage move to a cohab space, 
hire 10 to 15 people, create apps, get world recognition, and then leave that cohab space to find larger space. Twin Engine Labs is a great example right here in Shreveport. Moonbot is another example. Go anywhere, I was in E3 uh, probably two or three months ago. If you go to these tech conferences and you talk to people, this is the kind of, kind of banter that you get. You know, it's like, well, you guys have the, you know, that, that great miniature film, that app there, you have Moonbot there. You know, we saw these guys win the award. Um, they've heard about Twin Engine Labs. I don't know if you guys are seeing what Twin Engine Labs are doing with their first app right now. It's huge, it's gonna be huge for this area. It's gonna be huge for Louisiana. But 2011, some significant changes that happened with the tax credit, um, just to get back to the tax credit, was that it changed from a transferable tax credit to now it's a rebate. So what that means for small startups is that means throughout the year, you can actually elect to receive a check back from the state for 85 cents on the dollar, or you can wait till tax time and go 100% against your tax liabilities in the state. So where are we at now? Well, we talked about it earlier, we're ranked number one in, in the United States for growth in digital media. Several large companies are relocating to Louisiana. There are several more that are gonna be locating. I will tell you in the next five years, you're gonna see a landscape that you've never recognized before. Um, young creative entrepreneurs. The young creative entrepreneurs in Louisiana are creating a movement like nowhere else. I can tell you that if you go to New Orleans, you go to Baton Rouge, you go to Lafayette, and you come right here especially, you're gonna find a, a bunch of young guys and girls that are creating their own companies, and these companies are being successful. Um, if you ask me what, what's driving that, it's several things, but a lot of it has to do with the culture of Louisiana. We are uh, extremely creative individuals by nature. You take that, you add in tax credits, you add in government entities and local areas that are supporting. I'm not gonna change what happens in Louisiana by myself, but I can tell you that events like this and educational institutions and everybody getting behind these, these groups of individuals and giving them support will. Um, extreme interest from non-Louisiana. Um, I receive probably five to 10 phone calls in, in a week from people that are living outside of this state that are, um, their response to me is, hey, I live in California. I'm developing here, I've lived here for 20 years. Um, California doesn't, doesn't like me or they don't appreciate me, I guess would be the word. I know this guy that lives in New Orleans. I know this guy that lives in Shreveport. It, it seems to me that the, the state of Louisiana and the local people in Louisiana are treating these guys like rock stars. What's going on? I'm like, we do treat these people like rock stars because they are rock stars. Um, but I had somebody, a, a well-known, I won't, I won't throw a name out there, but she's a well-known developer in California, came toward Louisiana. She picked up the phone first, she called me, she asked me what was going on, asked me what we were offering, everything else. Came to Louisiana, toured around five minutes, and said, hey, you know what? I've gotta move here. And I'll tell you what, last month she was here. So she's opening up a develop, small development studio in New Orleans. Um, it's great. Educational program and institutions, if I left anybody out on my, my pictures here, it wasn't intentional. I will tell you that, let's say three to five years ago, there was talk about movement in the educational institutions in Louisiana. It's happening right now. And I, I see that growing exponentially. Uh, everywhere from New Orleans all the way up to Shreveport, there is a ton of movement in Shreveport right now. Um, what Shreveport is doing is significant. They are, in a lot of cases, and, and if I'm incorrect, please correct me, but they're, they're listening to the industry, and the industry is telling them what they want, and they're, they're pumping people out of these universities to go, that can go get a job at, the, at these industries. So where are we gonna be in the future? I can tell you that it's gonna grow in the next couple of years, 100% each year again. Um, we're getting a significant amount of movement right now. Several large companies, young creative entrepreneurs. Um, we're gonna bring back those graduates. We're gonna keep our graduates here, educational institutions. And one thing I left out that's, that's really significant for Shreveport and it's significant for the state. There are significant synergies right now going on between the film industry and the digital industry. And those industries are starting to converge and they're getting closer and closer. But it's really, it's great for areas like Shreveport because movies are great for the economy. Movies come in, you film them, people work at them, and then they might leave. 
and you might do, let's say you do two to three movies a year. We're seeing companies right now, they're doing collaborations in the film world and they're staying in there and they're in, a, in the interactive world. So it, it's, it's creating just tons of jobs and tons of steady work. Where is it happening? It's happening right here in Louisiana and if you'll see I have my, my dots where we're taking people back. Shh.